Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Dynamo video. In this one, we're talking about Thursday Night Football. Excited for this game. The Giants playing at the 49ers. So this one going to be heavily slanted to the 49ers. We can see a 10-point spread right now. Pretty low total as well at 44. To me, this screams out that the Niners are going to jump out to a two-score lead and kind of just hold that lead and kind of run the clock. So keep that in mind. Some of my picks are going to reflect that kind of game script as well. And if you guys are not in the free Discord, jump in there. You can see a ton of people winning big. I think this is some CSGO wins from today. Uh, here we have some MLB wins. We got to keep scrolling to get to the NFL wins from the weekend. But there were a ton of those, as you can see here as well. And a lot of people talking in the NFL section all the time about picks. So get in there for free. Also, if you enjoy playing on prize picks or any other player prop site, definitely play on Thrive as well. Use the link down below. You're going to get 100% deposit match up to 250 bucks plus Thursday night. They got a free McCaffrey square over a half a rushing yard for new users only. Another bonus they have for Thursday the three pick boosted to a 6.2x multiplier on prize picks. That would be a 5x multiplier. You get it at a 6.2 over on Thrive. And they have a ton of props up over here. Some are different than prize picks as well. So get over here. Take advantage of Thrive. It'll be linked down below. For this one, we have the news that we are going to be without Saquon Barkley for the Giants. Surprise, actually, that that spread that was at 10 and a half has actually dropped down to 10 with that news maybe they already knew that before the news came out but anyway I like Darren Waller in this game the yards 36 first game 76 second receptions at four now and three and six in the first two games I'm going to the catches here you know Barkley does command some targets they might have to be throwing more in this game because they can't rely on Barkley. Like even down the stretch of that game against Arizona, they're giving Barkley carries without him. I think that, you know, Waller is going to be involved heavily Four catches. I think we could maybe see this line go up before the game, but I like him had six in the last game, just getting more involved in the offense basically is their number one receiving option on this team. I'm going to Waller here. Last thing to look at is going to be the targets. Had eight targets and five targets in the last two games for Waller. So, like him on the receptions. We got him at four flat, which is pretty nice here. Pretty safe, I would say. And then we're going to another guy, Daniel Jones. We're going to look at his rushing because I think he's going to have to run even more than he's been running. Surprised they're running this $40 million per year player so much but you can see it's set at 37 and a half has basically smashed that in the first two games even against Dallas when they had no offense going we could still rely on Jones to get 40 something rush yards so you could go there or you could go the attempts which may be increased as well 11 and 9 I think both are pretty good here honestly and actually I think I'm going to go with the rush attempts for this video he needs eight as you saw, 9, 11, 17 dating back to last year, and 11, four of his last five games has gone nine or more, not eight. He's going to have to do a lot in this game. I'm going to take the attempts. Say he does get eight rush attempts, you know, there is the likelihood that he could get under five yards per carry and actually miss the rushing yards which is going to be a little tougher against San Francisco. I think the attempts will be there without Saquon, though, because I don't see Matt Breida getting as many attempts as someone like Saquon had been getting. For the next pick, we're going to come over here, use Odds Jam, free seven-day trial, code Dynamo. You can check it out if you want. I'll leave that down there for you guys. But they like Jake Moody, under one and a half field goals. And basically how this works, DraftKings, Caesars, BetMGM, all have this minus 130 or greater to hit on the under on Jake Moody, the Niners kicker. So I'm going to go with that pick. It kind of plays into the game script here of a lower scoring game, 44 
point total. And, you know, I could see the Niners just kind of running the clock out a lot and the score being something like 24 to 14. So actually going under on the total and the Niners getting that one field goal. If you watch one of my past videos, I basically called the exact score of a game and the game script of it and kind of trying to project that again here. But the sports books like this one under Moody, no field goals in the first game, three last game. Like I said, I think this is going to be a run the clock kind of game. And because of that, going to Brock Purdy here, pass yards, 227 seems high. Rush yards, 8.5. Seen this multiple other places, 7.5. But something weird about prize picks is 227 plus 8.5 is not 240. It's like 236. So you actually get some savings if you like the under on both the pass yards and the rush yards. And personally, I like under on both. And I'm taking the savings here. He needs 241 combined going under for Purdy. Not that I don't think Purdy's going to have a good game, but you can see he's gone well under 228 in the first two games, which actually the Rams game was fairly close, and he still only threw for 206. I really think this, the Niners are going to get up, start handing the ball to McCaffrey, then actually get Elijah Mitchell in this game, who's interesting here. At 27 and a half because he hasn't gotten a carry all season, which is way different from last year. It was like almost a 60-40 split between him and McCaffrey with carries. I think Mitchell's going to get way involved in this game. Could be an interesting one here to take, but for this video, not taking Mitchell. I'm going to Kittle. Kittle kind of seems like a guy they try to get involved early in the passing game, and then... You know, when they're up, they're kind of just like, okay, we're just going to have Kittle stay in and run block or even pass block on some of these quick pass attempts. 44 yards is what he needs. So far this season, hasn't come close. 30 and 19. So Kittle, going to be taking the under on Kittle. <clears throat> kind of a reverse stack here, taking the under on Purdy and one of his targets on Kittle here. Honestly, a lot of these 49ers players have pretty low totals. 55, 53, 30, 43. When you add up the top four targets, it doesn't really make sense because these numbers are going to be about 180. So even if every single one of these barely hits, Purdy is still sitting at 185 yards. That's just me, but these are the five that I'm going to be going with here. So if you guys like prize picks, want another place to play, Check out Thrive, 100% deposit match up to 250. Also, McCaffrey, free square over there for new users. And a boosted odds payout from a 5x to 6.2x on a three-pick slip on Thrive just on Thursday. So definitely get over there. Now a quick recap. We got Kittle under his receiving yards, pairing with his quarterback under his pass and rushing yards. Really just think, this game, Niners are going to get up, start milk on the clock with McCaffrey and Mitchell. Then we got Moody from Odds Jam, and all those sports books have him like minus 130 something or higher to not hit over two field goals here. And then we got Daniel Jones on the rush attempts. The Giants are going to be desperate, you know, kind of doing whatever they can here to make this offense go uh, without Saquon Barkley and. I think they're going to need Jones to run a lot in this game plan. Darren Waller is going to be basically Daniel Jones' favorite target here. They're going to have to be throwing Waller with four, six catches last game. I think this one's safe as well. That's the five picks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe to the channel. Get in the Discord that will be linked down below. Join Thrive as well for all the free money. Odds boost, free square. What are you doing if you're playing prize picks and not on Thrive taking advantage of that? So definitely get in there, and I'll see you guys in another video.